What's happening guys and welcome back to our channel. Tony Robbins is quite popular for his expertise in motivating and assisting others in achieving their goals. He's a well-known motivational speaker, personal financial educator, life coach and author with several success stories to offer. In his book, Money Master the Game, Robin offers seven steps that must be followed to live a financially secure life. Here's how you can get financial freedom in seven simple steps. Number seven, make an investment in your future. Make the most important financial decision of your life, which is investing in your future. Only about half of the private sector staff in the United States is covered by a retirement plan. Those who have been may be enrolled in a 401k plan with significant costs. Take charge of your financial destiny by deciding to save and invest. Oftentimes, investors suffer significant losses as a result of the excessive fees and commissions associated with such investments. It's much simpler and more fun to take out our salary, the money we've earned and worked hard for, and spend it all every month buying anything we want and not worrying about the future. When it comes to money, the issue is that we just don't plan and save enough. According to Northwestern Mutual's 2019 Planning in Progress study, 22% of Americans have $5,000 or less saved up, 5% had less than $25,000 saved, and 15% had no retirement money whatsoever. That's unfortunate because there are several motives to save for the future. The future doesn't have to be retirement only. Tomorrow is your future. Saving involves taking a break from the paycheck to paycheck loop or putting money aside for a large purchase possibly in the future, such as a car, vacation, or house. Unfortunately, living paycheck to paycheck is something that affects everyone unable to build and stick to a budget as well as set and achieve savings objectives. A lot may and will happen between now and the end of your income earning days. We may lose our jobs, receive a compensation raise or cut, relocate, or become unable to work. One of the finest things we can do with our hard-earned money is to strategize about our current income to develop plans for the future. Number six, make yourself an insider. Become the insider. Before you get into the game, be sure you understand the rules. There are several conflicting theories about the investing game and these misconceptions are often disseminated to keep the general public in the dark. High-cost mutual funds are simply one example of a problem. It's illogical to believe that there is a trick or a secret to outperforming the market. High-cost active funds rarely outperform the market. Just ask yourself, what does your ideal retirement entail? What type of life do you envision? Perhaps you intend to travel more or maybe you intend to return to school. Possibly your passion for photography might be turned into a new business or maybe you're simply looking forward to taking a break and spending more quality time with those you care about. Whether your retirement plans include bungee jumping in South Africa or trampoline jumping with your grandkids, taking the time to develop a solid financial strategy now allows your aspirations to become a reality. The first step is to determine what you want to accomplish. Is it your primary desire to retain your current lifestyle after retirement or do you have other preferences? You may quickly visualize your future financial condition by looking at your current cash flow and simulating a variety of projected cash flow scenarios in retirement. You may construct a better image of what you'll need and when by including major personal milestones such as a change in lifestyle, vacation, downsizing, purchasing that automobile, or even selling a company. Number five, increase the probability of winning the game. Make the game a winnable one. Determine the annual income required to attain financial stability, housing, transportation, food, insurance, utilities, clothes, healthcare, entertainment, and education are the top five expenses for the average American household. What amount do you require each year to meet your needs? According to a 2014 Princeton University and University of Chicago research, 40% of Americans said that they would struggle to come up with $2,000 if they needed it. Having an emergency fund is essential for dealing with unforeseen events that might occur in life. Aside from that, 
being in a situation where your mortgage is paid off, your utilities, food, transportation, and insurance expenditures are all covered puts you in a good position to win. According to investing icon Charles D. Ellis, the investment process is similar to a game of amateur tennis with the winner being the one who makes the least mistakes. He considers the investment process to be a loser's game with misdeath and uncontrolled errors causing investors to lag behind their competitors. He claims that a successful strategy is simply to learn and describe, but not so simple to put into action. Number 4. Make the most important investment decision of your life. Make the effort to diversify and understand where to invest to preserve your wealth. Investors have several options ranging from annuities and bonds to the stock market and CDs. It's critical to understand the costs, charges, limits and advantages associated with each of these investment possibilities. Bonds, for example, have received a poor name as a result of the federal government's policy of keeping interest rates low. However, most experts agree that bonds are a good basis for a portfolio that can perform in any economic scenario. Annuities, when done appropriately, may function as a pension plan. Nevertheless, the costs and penalties connected with many annuities make them a poor investment. It's up to you to take charge, conduct research, and identify the best investing instruments. Every instrument has some level of risk. If you want to buy securities, such as stock, bonds, or mutual funds, you should be aware that you might lose part or even all of your money before you invest. Securities, unlike deposits at FDIC-insured banks and NCUA-insured credit unions, are normally not federally insured. You may lose your principal or the amount you invested. This is true even if you buy your securities through some kind of bank. Number 3. Make a long-term income plan. Make a strategy for your long-term income. Ray Dalio 65 developed the all-seasons approach which teaches investors how to prosper in each economic season by combining bonds, stocks, commodities, and gold. Dalio witnessed boom and downturn markets as an NYSE clerk in the 1970s. Tides shifted abruptly and suddenly. Yield's chief investment officer, David Swenson, believes that unconventional wisdom is the only way to succeed. Follow the herd and you don't have a chance. Contemplate a state market. Americans, especially those with little money, were buying anything they could get their hands on in the early 2000s. However, they weren't purchasing home just because borrowing rates were cheap. In 2009, interest rates were lower and purchasers couldn't give their homes away. People purchased during the boom because rates were fast climbing. Inflation, deflation, growing economic growth, and falling economic growth are the four factors that influence asset prices. When growth exceeds expectations, higher than expected inflation often follows. When growth is slower than predicted, inflation may be lower than projected. Number 2. Invest just the 0.001% Invest just 0.001% Robbins conducted interviews of billionaires including Carl Icahn, Warren Buffett and John Bogle. Despite their approaches, he discovered that they all shared at least four common obsessions. One, don't lose money. Two, risk a little to gain a lot. Three, anticipate and diversify. And four, you're never done. Number one, just do it and have fun with it. Simply do it, enjoy it, and spread the word. Robbins concludes this fascinating work in a way that only he can do. He motivates the reader. He encourages people to understand technology trends and utilize them to take charge of their investment destiny. Our issues, like the answers to those problems, are right in waves. Robbins motivates his readers to learn more, take charge, and give something back. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!